so we're here on the casting couch and uh, we're going to give you the opportunity to make uh, two to five thousand dollars a day depending on how you perform <laughs> but the secret is there is no job exactly. at least that's what i've heard oh are you filming oh um yeah. we've got um <laughs> he, he's like you guys are such a you're just tactical charlatan so we got a ranger tab coming out that says tactical charlatan all right hey guys we are in the official soe shop yes there is an official SOE shop, and uh, I'm sitting with John Willis, the HMFIC of SOE. That's right. If that's enough uh, three-letter acronyms for you, or five-letter acronyms. All right. But John is going to tell us the origins of the battle combat cock. cock. The combat cock. Is we, it a uh, battle cock or a combat cock? Combat cock. Combat cock, okay. Combat cock, this uh, originally was a pin cushion from Better Homes and Gardens. That's where the pattern came from. It was it was not, you know, ninjaed out or anything. It uh, was a different size. So we had a kid working for us, uh, moved from California, and just was not acclimating well to, to Camden. He was getting ready to go home for Christmas. I flew him home to see his mom in California, and he tried to get a, a Domo doll out of the crane machine at Walmart. He was mm -hmm. going to take it and just go around like... Um, like the tap rack bang guys do with the G.I. Joe dolls and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, Dave Reeder, you know, he's a friend of ours, does that. So he was going to take this little Domo doll around and take pictures in California, and he couldn't get it after like $10, and I'm ready to go do something else, and he's not getting this damn thing out of the machine. I'm like, take the, com take the chicken. He's like, okay. I'm like, set up a Facebook page for it. Take the chicken. We're going to call it Combat Cock. He's like, we can't call it the Combat I'm like, bullshit. We can I cuss on here? Are you, you mean <laughs> he can deedle it out. Okay, oh, so, so try not to. Okay, so um, we're gonna call it the combat. We're gonna call it the combat cock. He's like, we can't call that the combat. I'm like, that's what we're calling. He's like, no, we'll call it the battle bird or the, the chicken or whatever. I'm like, no, it is gonna be the combat cock. So we start building these. We build a Facebook page. We build a completely different website for them, and it was very plain at first. It was just a, a small little comb, um, cordura beak. Um, just a felt comb and then over time we've evolved it into what you see here and uh, it's just kind of a morale booster we send them out to deployed units overseas APO orders we'll send out a box of 15 20 of them and we'll write all over the box box of cocks box of big black cocks so imagine what the postal workers are thinking <laughs> and when it, when it shows up on post shows up on base they're not sure what they don't know whether to open the box or they don't know what's in the box so that's how it started off so We've been doing it about five years now, I guess, and it, it's turned into something a little fancier, and we do a lot of limited edition ones where we'll run, this was the 4th of July one, the uh, Captain Maricock, or the, uh, you know, Americock, and uh, we did this one for 4th of July. But we send them over, and it's become huge. These guys send these things back, photos of them uh, in aircraft on blown up equipment, blown up armor. Um, pictures we can't even some of the coolest pictures they send us we cannot get away with posting on facebook um we get them back from drug seizures we get them back from passed out hookers and transients <laughs> i mean just the, the craziest things where you can imagine these things being we get photos of it so we have a, a original combat cock facebook page and then we also have the soe facebook page and um guys just send pictures of these things in so we've got 50, 60 versions of them on the website. You can order colors of them. We're constant. I've got, we, we have you new could, girls. And you can dress them up with your morale patches. That's right. Obviously. That's why we put the Velcro on there. So. And then we've got the limited edition ones like these, which are only available um, during certain sales. Um, we run sales and we'll run a special cock for the sale. And the only way to get it is to purchase during that sale. And uh, we don't sell the special. So we got guys all over the world literally collecting these things. We had no idea that it was going to turn into this. We've got shirts and patches and, I mean, all kinds of stuff, beanies, coffee cups with the cock on them. Just from one dude trying to get a Domo doll that's where, out of that's a, out where of a claw from. machine. That is where it came from, yeah. There's no claw machine anywhere filled with cocks, is there? There's not, but we, well, actually, should be. we actually went into um, uh, Build-A-Bear and talked to them and got the number of the place that has the big... They, there's companies that make machines just to stuff stuffed animals. And that's what that's what we're moving over to. We're, we're getting a $10,000 machine that blows fiber into these things because right now we've got two guys down there filling these damn things and stuffing them full of fiber filling. So we're, we're looking at uh, just faster ways to do it. Like we literally can't build enough of them. 
can't make them fast enough. We, all our new girls, when they come in, we have them sew chickens because it, it's just it's a piece of gear that's not um, life support. It's not an essential piece of mission gear. So mm -hmm. we, we teach our people how to sew by sewing these. There's a business model. It, it works, man. This this guy kind of... This so. isn't your first rodeo. You've been on a long, extended rodeo? For I've been doing this for over 25 years. 25. Like, we were joking about it a couple years ago. You know, we've been in business longer than the Internet. And I just kind of threw it out there. When we started doing the math, we really have been in business longer than the Internet. We've been doing this back when you used to have to pick up a phone. And we used to have a, our first catalog was a line drawing catalog. And then we had a, a photocop, you know, color copiers back in those days. And, you know, thermal fax machine back in the day. And uh, we had a catalog we mail out. Nowadays, guys, every now and then, once a week or so, hey, do you have a catalog? We kind of laugh about it. We're like, who has a catalog nowadays? <laughs> Yeah, we got a warehouse yeah, full of them, man. Yeah. Because you're the only one who has asked for one this that, month. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy the things you hear. Um, we got full page ads in Recoil Magazine nowadays, and guys still, they're just they're just looking. If you need a catalog, you're probably not going to be a customer. That's just want to look at something. We build stuff for the warfighter. Um, you know, we've been doing this so long. If we're building something, somebody out there in the world killing bad guys is using it. By the time, by the time you as a consumer can buy it, we've got a bunch of this stuff. It's, it's well tested, and then uh, we just have fun. And it's thus, the you know combat cock and the tactical cool type stuff, the visors and keychains. And, and then not taking yourself too seriously, dude. I don't like like when we uh, shoot that, our. That is that 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 could be like the mantra. Over the doorway, it says, "Thou shalt not take thyself right. too seriously." Because we deal, we deal with the dudes that they're making movies about, and those guys, when they're switched on, they're on, and everything's business. And I, and I get, a, you know, people take me the wrong way. I speak very factually and with a lot of brevity. You might ask, you'll send me an email with four paragraphs of, you know, text, but really you had two important lines in there, and I will answer you as fast as possible because we are trying to answer everybody. Right. And that's that's the deal. We come to work. What you see on our videos, we don't edit our videos, our YouTube videos. What you see happens, happens. If we say something that shouldn't be in there, you're going to hear it. You get to hear all of it. You see who we really are. And that's who we are. Um, you know, we're, we're a close-knit family here. I've got 33 employees. We pay all of our employees an hour every day to go to the gym. We pay their gym fees, and we pay all their workout while they're there working out. I cook breakfast for all of my employees every morning. They walk in here and we, we feed them breakfast. After we get back from the gym, we, we cook them lunch. Not some fast, you know, not a cheeseburger. I mean, we cook steak and chicken every single day. The new shop has a commercial kitchen in it. And there are live cocks here there are. on, on the property. There's there's they're, 40 they're chickens right up, right 100 feet from here up the hill. We All the eggs we cook, we produce on site. Um, our goal with the new building, we got a, the new building is... Uh, 10,000 square feet on 10 acres of property and we just added 6,000 square feet upstairs for offices and the goal is to produce 50% of the food that we consume next year on our property. And this was kind of a test bed. We got a little mini farm up there. We got some goats, chickens, geese and you know, we'll, we'll see. We might fall short, but we'll be ahead of where we were yesterday. Yeah. John, uh, for this video, thank you very much for Man, taking the time to course. let me sit on the official casting couch right. and talk to you about your combat and, you, and did you so are we doing 2,000 or is it 5,000 a day I mean I don't know thank you for joining us for this edition of student of the gun homeroom make sure that you're listening to the radio show each and every week watching the TV show and that you download the mobile app hey it's free right you can get it at the Google Play Store or your iTunes store and please leave your comments below